Georgia is falling short when it comes to critical investments in our kids' education and in building tomorrow's workforce. The 2018 budget has a modest bump for the pre-kindergarten program, but per-student funding is still below pre-recession levels. And that impacts quality. Class size is still too high, and program providers are having a harder time starting new classrooms in areas where there's high demand. On the K-12 side, there is one bright spot in the 2018 budget. There is a pay raise for teachers, the first since 2009. But districts still face big challenges. Um, state funding for public schools is down $167 million in the upcoming school year. Making that tougher for districts, the state has shifted health insurance costs for bus drivers and custodians and other key employees onto districts, as well as the majority of the cost of funding student transportation, getting kids to and from school safely. So there have been improvements in funding for our public schools in recent years, but still there are real challenges ahead. And as we look to 2018 and 2019 and the years beyond, we really need a comprehensive and careful assessment of what it costs for our kids to gain the knowledge and the skills that they need to be successful in the future and that Georgia needs to have a skilled workforce to be competitive as well. This has been a production of the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute.